everybody. My name is Brenda and welcome to Tangle Break. Today is Fragment Friday and we're going to do this tile with this fragment right here, Fragment K4. So what we're going to do is mirror it and rotate it and make this very cool design. That I, It reminds me of modern art. Okay, and it's fun, it's relaxing, and it's easy. So let's get started. We're going to start with the eight basic steps of the Zentangle method. Step one is gratitude and appreciation. I am thankful for the time that we're able to take a break from our day, relax and have fun, and for the supplies that we're going to use. And they are a three and a half inch tile, a Micron 01 pen, a Zentangle pencil, a tortillon, and if you have it, a uh, um, Micron PN pen, just for some of the filling in that we're going to do. Okay? All right. Step two is the corner dots. So what we're going to do is just put in the corner dots lightly with our pencil. Step three is the border. I'm just going to take my pencil and connect the dots with the side of my pencil. And it doesn't have to be a perfectly straight line because the design will take care of it. Okay. All right. Now the uh, number four is string. The step four is string. We're not going to be using, the string that we're going to be using is a reticula or a grid. So um, that's what we're going to do. So take your pen, put your pencil to the side, and we'll use it at the end when we're shading. And we're going to, I'm going to move this to the side, and we're going to just go over the pencil mark with our pen. All right, now to make the grid. What I do is I'm gonna look for the center part. Just, it doesn't have to be perfect, just the center, and I'm gonna bring it towards me straight down, okay? Now I have two sections. I'm gonna divide these two sections, bring it straight down, and go over here, and bring it straight down, okay? Turn my tile. I'm going to do the same exact thing to make my grid. Find halfway. Pull it towards me. Now I have two sections. Divide both sections in half. And one more. And put it right there. And like I said, when you're looking at it, do not worry because this is supposed to be stress-free relaxing. Um, the design takes care of it. Okay, so this is fragment K4 right here and it's very easy. Okay, we're going to start and I'm going to show you because as we do it to get this mirrored rotated look we're going to be turning but we're going to do the same fragment each time and it just I think it turns out pretty cool and when we shade it gives it the dimensions. Okay, all right, so this is K4, and when we start, we're going to start, I'm going to start in this box right here, and we're just going to go from the top to the side, to, I mean to the bottom, top to the bottom, left to right, okay? And then the easy way to do this is I pick where is my center, I'm going to go straight up and straight across, okay? And then I'm going to fill this in. If you have the PN pen and you want to fill it in with that, that's fine. Or you can just keep that Micron 01 pen in your hand and go for it.
And I'm turning my tile. I'm just still in that same box. Just turning it. Okay, that part's done. Now what I'm going to do is just try to find the middle again of this section and draw a line. And then I'm going to find this section and draw a half. And find this section and draw a half. So I did it in half and then the two halves. Okay, I'm going to turn my tile. And I'm going to, well let's turn it all the way around. Because I can find the middle here and bring it down. I can find the middle here and bring it down. Find the middle here and bring it down. That's it. That is it. Okay? And th that is my, bring it down here. That's my first one. Okay? My next one, I'm going to turn it and actually mirror it. And it gives it the cool effect. So this is my main thing I need to do is wherever that line is. Okay? So I'm going to go from the bottom left to the top right, okay? And then I'm going to go find my middle and go down, find my middle and go across. And then this is filled in. I'm going to switch pins to the, just the Micron PN just has a little bit broader tip. So it just makes the coloring in a little bit faster. So I want to make sure I have time to show you everything. Okay, that's it. Now we're just going to take this half, this right here, find half, bring it down. Two sections, find half, bring it down line half, bring it down, okay? I'm going to turn my card just to make it easier, my tile, and I'm just going to bring each line down, 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 okay? So I'm starting to get the look that I'm looking for, that modern art feel. Now I'm going to turn my card this way, my fragment, and so this one, that's the line I look for that line okay so now I'm gonna go from here to here okay find halfway and I know that I did this halfway so I'm just going to connect it on over and go on up okay all right so take my other pen and fill it in and this made it mirror so we're rotating and mirroring the same fragment over and over, which is very simple to give you the cool design. Okay, all right, now we're just gonna do the, these lines, find halfway, and bring it down. Find halfway, bring it down, find halfway, bring it down. I'm gonna turn my card so I can connect them, okay? Now since I have these here, I'm gonna try to connect it. Go from here to here so it looks continuous. Go from here to here, and go from here to here so it looks like it's continuous, okay? And when we shade it, it'll fix any imperfections you don't worry about that. Okay, now the next one. We're going to turn it again. And this one goes from bottom left to top right. First thing we're going to do is do our box, which was halfway, halfway down, halfway across. Switch pins to fill it in. I enjoy fragment 
Fragment Fridays because you get into that Zen mode when you're doing the same repetitive strokes. So it's an easy way to relax. Okay, now we're going to do halfway, 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 halfway. Turn your tile, find it, halfway, halfway, halfway. Okay, we're starting to get the look. Okay, and this will be our finished look. All right, so next, the next aisle going, row going across, I guess you'd say row, we're going to turn it this way. Okay, so we're going to go from Remember, we're looking for this line here, okay? So I'm gonna go from the bottom left to the top right, find middle, let's see, let's find the middle, right about here, come in, find the middle, go up, okay? We're gonna fill it in with our pin. Come all the way over here. Okay, all right, so go out by going by our card. Now we're gonna, oops, <laughs> we're gonna do our, our pin. Find halfway, pull it in, find halfway, pull it in, find halfway, pull it in. Okay, now I'm just gonna take those and pull them down. Halfway, pull it down, halfway, pull it down, halfway, pull it down, okay? All right, the next one, we're gonna do, rotate it this way. So it's gonna be from top left to bottom right. We're gonna do halfway to make it, and halfway to make it, okay? I'm gonna switch to the PN pin, and here we go. I'm going across here. Cross here. Going this way. And that one's colored in. Okay, we're gonna find halfway and bring it down. Find halfway and bring it down. Find halfway and bring it down. Okay, I'm gonna turn my card, my tile, halfway, bring it down, halfway, bring it down, halfway, bring it down. Okay. My next one is gonna be bottom left to top right. Okay, so bottom left to top right. Okay, and I want the bottom part filled in, so halfway, and then halfway. Okay, switch my pens and color it in. When we shade it, it makes the ridges actually look like it's there coming out a little bit. I think shading makes such a big difference in your drawings. Okay. All right. We're doing halfways. So I'm turning it to me so I can pull it to me easily. Halfway, pull it to me, halfway. Halfway. I'm gonna turn it this way so when I pull it towards me, it can meet up with the other one. 
So halfway, meet up halfway. Okay. Sometimes I've pulled it down, sometimes I've gone across. It's just whatever, whatever just feels good and relaxing. Okay, the last one on this row is gonna be from bottom left to top right. So here we go, bottom left, top right. First thing we're gonna do is do our box. So halfway down and then halfway across there. We're gonna fill it in. Making sure everything's on the screen. Okay. I'm actually gonna extend it a little bit more. Make sure I got it ex very close to half. Okay, all right, now I'm gonna pull it towards me, line halfway, line halfway, line halfway. This time I'm gonna turn it this way to bring it towards me, line halfway first, halfway, halfway. I like to do it in that order just because it feels like I can get the more space the right space there. Let's pull this down a little bit. Okay. All right. Um, th third row. Here we go. We're going to turn it this way. So bottom left to top right. Okay. Halfway to the middle. Halfway to the middle. And we'll fill it in. down, halfway to the middle, halfway, halfway. Okay, I'm going to bring it down, halfway, halfway, halfway. All right, next, next one, we're going to turn it, rotate it, and it's going to be the bottom right. So I'm going to go from the top left to the bottom right. Okay, find my middle and go to it, find my middle and go around. Okay, and we'll fill that in. Oh, I have to tell you, while I'm thinking about it, that I am loving um, how people are sending me pictures of their tiles and their pumpkin on uh, the email tanglebreak at gmail.com. It makes my day when I see all the different pictures. Y'all are doing a great job. <laughs> I love it. Got a lot of artists out there. Okay, so let's go ahead and do half, bring it down, half and 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 bring it down. Okay, now we're gonna switch, rotate, and go from, I'll move it back over, I tell you, I get into this and so I 
move my tile around. I, have to make, I keep looking to make sure it's where it needs to be. Okay, all right. So this one is gonna be from bottom left to top right. Okay, so then halfway, I'm gonna just join it with the one above it. And then halfway, come across here. Okay, it just gives it some unity. And it looks pretty much halfway. Okay, all right, now let's do the halfways. I'm gonna go halfway to here, halfway to here, halfway to here. I'm gonna turn my tile, go halfway to here, halfway to here, halfway to here. Okay, now the last one on this one is gonna be almost um, mirrored of the one we just did. So the line is, needs to go from top left to bottom right. Top left to bottom right. Okay, I already have one here so I'm just going to carry that on. And then come up to make my square. And here we go. Just have one more row to do and you will have a piece of original modern art for yourself. <laughs> okay. So, I wanna join what I have over here. So I'm just gonna pull it down. I know that's the middle. I know this is half of the, that side. This is half of that side. Okay, now I'm turning my tile because I just wanna continue this. I go to the halfway mark first, halfway of this side, and then halfway of that side. Okay? All right, my last row. I'm going to start just like it is right here. Okay? So I'm going to go from top left to bottom right. I already have my square here, so let's just bring it down to the middle. I'm going to turn it. Let's bring it to the middle, okay? And let's fill it in. Turn my tile just so I can get a better feel my ink going on there okay all right so since I already have it coming this way let's just keep keep bringing it down so halfway going halfway 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 and then I'm gonna finish it up by turning it halfway Halfway, halfway, okay, done. Next one, I'm gonna rotate it to the bottom, okay? So I'm gonna go from bottom left, top right. I'm gonna go halfway, halfway, okay? Fill it in. I was leaning over so much, just making sure I'm still up there. I get into it too. Okay, here we go. Halfway, it's gonna be different than the other one. Halfway, 
halfway, halfway, okay? Bringing it down, halfway, 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 okay? Just two more. This one's gonna be rotated this way. So we're gonna start our line at the top left and come down to the bottom right, okay? First thing I'm gonna do is halfway and my square, okay? Fill it in. It actually is mirroring that one caddy corner to it. I love doing fragments. That's why I decided to make just one day every week that would be fragments. You can do so much with them. And right now we're working on the square fragments. But I have circular orb, circular orbs. You say orbs to take the stress away from saying circles. Remember? <laughs> so we'll have those and we'll have triangular ones. They're fun. All of these. I love all these. Okay, so we're doing this. So let's do halfway. 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 Okay, I'm going to turn my tile so I can just pull it towards me at the halfway. So halfway. 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 Okay, now to the last one for this row. And our last fragment to do is from bottom left to top right. Bottom left, top right. Okay. Find halfway, come across, halfway, come across. Let's fill it in. And fill this part in. Okay, all right. Now let's just do the lines to finish it up. And you can see how we're gonna do this one. Okay, all right. So pull it towards me, the middle. Towards me, half, towards me. Now I'm just gonna connect it, half, down, half, down, half, down, and you are done. Okay, pretty cool. Okay, now we're gonna do the next step, which is a step six shade. And I can show you how we're gonna shade to give it dimension, okay? I'm gonna go for the crevices and around the back. Come here. That's Molly. Okay, hope it didn't bother your zen. Okay, we'll, we'll keep going. All right, come here. Come here. Come here. Psst, psst, psst. Come here. Come here. All right. She thinks she's security. Okay, you're fine. All right. Okay, we'll keep going. Okay, because we're almost finished. She just burped. Okay, we'll get back into our zen. Okay. All right, here we go. For the shading, we're gonna go to the crevices here. I'm gonna go to the crevices and I'm not gonna do it on the black just because I like it um, not to have that sheen, but if you do it on the black, it's okay. It is perfectly fine just around the black a little bit, just to give it some depth. Around each of the black little squares, we'll do that first, that makes it easy. Okay. All right. Okay. All right, now I'm doing the crevices where you see that they met up. Okay. 
This is where this one met. This is going underneath this one. This is where this one met. This is where this one met. Okay, going around the black right here. Crevice here. This is going to be a crevice. This is where the two boxes met, right down the middle. Going over here, this is where they met. I'm going to go right where the edge of the paper is, where the tile line border was. Coming around here. I, I'm trying to just make the boxes stand out a little bit so you can see the differences in them. In the middle here. And there. Okay. All right. Okay, now I'm gonna take my tortillon. And just get those, just smooth out the pencil parts. Let me use my finger too. So you don't really see the lines, but it just gives it a shadow. Okay, come here. I apologize. There's a, um, for the, for my little dog. She hears a truck outside. It's just normal life. You gotta try to relax in normal life. She hears a truck and she wants to go bark. So, I do apologize if it messed you up. But we've gotten so far into this, I don't wanna stop and start again. So I have so many other ones I wanna show you too. All of them are so interesting. I've got quite a few already pulled out that I was I want to share with you just to give you some relaxation and some fun. That's what that's the whole goal. And so I'm very appreciative when you tell me that you enjoyed it and it was fun and relaxing. That's the whole whole reason I'm doing this is to is to share. Okay? All right, well and we just had a little bit of real life trying to keep my dog, Molly. She's looking up at me, acting all innocent. Okay, step seven, initial and sign. So, I think I'm gonna pick down here to initial B. I'm gonna turn it. S, comes almost into the thing, that's fine. I'm gonna turn it over on the back. Brenda, this is Tangle Break, and this fragment that we used to mirror and rotate was fragment, oh, we gotta bring it up, fragment K4, we rotated, and we mirrored it, and we got the cool effect. So, now we appreciate, okay? I am very appreciative of our time we spent together. I'm very appreciative of how it turned out despite Molly barking. And I look forward to seeing you again next time on Tangle Break. Bye for now.